Welcome to part 8 of my Western Roman Empire campaign. The Western Roman Empire has recovered from its crisis and is strong enough to challenge the East. Now it's war. The war went well for the Western Roman Empire and battle after battle has won. However, through a crucial mistake, Honorius suffered severe wounds in one of the battles and later died from his injuries. His son, who succeeded him, was murdered after a short time. And now the fate of the empire depends on the four-year-old Theodorus II, who has now the task to end the war victoriously. And so welcome to Crusader Kings 3, All Eagle. This is one of the worst things that could happen. Four years, oh my god. The death of Diodorus was one of the worst things that could happen to me, because now I not only had to win the war, but also make sure that my vassals liked me. Fortunately for me, they liked me more than I had expected. Surprisingly, <laughs> they liked me. And I still had some money left to bribe them if the worst came to the worst. There was now only one goal to end the war as soon as possible and quickly stabilize the empire before something worse could happen. Wow, it's like, <laughs> that's a war of kids. <laughs> like two kids fighting each other. Perfect. But now, back to the serious matches. Another factor that put me under time pressure is diplomatic policies. Because if I'm too unpopular, the bar could go down again, which I wanted to avoid at all costs. So I kept the war going. But after a short time, the first disrupting news came. Factions had quickly formed against the young emperor, and if I could not end the war with the East quickly enough, it could be my undoing. And so I now concentrated on winning the war. The war was still clearly dominated by me. But my enemy was no longer the East, but rather the time it would take to defeat it. And so my armies besieged one settlement after the other to finally decide the war. Come on. 99? Are you kidding me? Now I was only one siege away from deciding the war for myself. At least, that's what I thought. But. Things were about to get so much more complicated. Hello there! Who is... This guy? Oh my god... 12,000? And so, I no longer had only one war to win. But since I'd almost defeated the East, I was sure that the next war would also be manageable especially since I would get many new soldiers through the conquest of the East. But the Germanic tribe did not remain alone for long. 22,000? Okay, yeah, okay. My situation was difficult, but far from hopeless, because even though I had two new enemies, I could now end my war with the East once and for all, and reunite the Roman Empire under one rule. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, the worst thing happened, but at least we unite the whole Roman Empire under one ruler. <laughs> so be it. <laughs> oh my god, that's just amazing and are at war with three different nations at the same time. <laughs> Finally, I had done it, and the war with the East was over. But I already had three new wars going, and the possibility that one or two of my vassals would rebel against me was not small. The problem with the conquest of the East is that I lack a strong ally who can help me in difficult times. But fortunately, I was able to find a good replacement, who was even stronger. Sassanid Empire. Oh my god. This alliance. <laughs> Perfect. Very good. An alliance with the Sassanids. 
This alliance was extremely important. For one thing, I didn't have to worry about the Sassanids attacking me, and for another, I had the strongest empire in the world on my side. With the help of the Sassanids, I should be able to fight back the invaders. I decided to give up on one of the wars, because it was only about one county, and it was not worth the effort, and so I could now take care of the Germanic invaders. Now it was time to use my holy order, which immediately defeated a peasant uprising for me. But while I was sending my armies towards the Germanic tribes, I was attacked by my vassals, who demanded their independence. If I lose this war against my vassals, I would lose large parts of my empire. Damn it. And so I decided to spare the Germans for the time being in order to fight the greater danger. But how this war will end and whether I will still defeat the Germanic tribes will be told another time. I also wanted to thank you for the more than 100 subscribers and all of your support in the comments. Thank you.